As the legend goes, Amado Carrillo Fuentes left his small village around the age of 12, telling people, I won't come back until I'm rich. He kept his word. Carrillo went on to build a multi-billion dollar empire and become Mexico's most powerful drug trafficker. The head of the Juarez cartel, Carrillo earned the nickname Lord of the Skies because he used private planes to smuggle cocaine. He filled the pockets of Mexican officials to keep them looking the other way and leveraged the threat of violence to keep people in line. As his power grew, however, so did scrutiny from Mexican and US officials. Carrillo fatefully decided to undergo plastic surgery to evade detection. But instead of leaving the hospital a new man, Amado Carrillo Fuentes died in his recovery room. The rise of the powerful Lord of the Skies, born in the small village of Guamachilito in Sinaloa, Mexico, on December 17, 1956, Amado Carrillo Fuentes grew up surrounded by agriculture and drugs. Though his father was a modest landowner, his uncle, Ernesto Fonseca Carrillo, led the Guadalajara cartel. Around the age of 12, Carrillo announced that he was leaving his parents and 10 siblings to make it rich. He traveled to Chihuahua with nothing more than a sixth grade education and began to learn the ins and outs of drug trafficking from his uncle. Ernesto eventually put his nephew in charge of overseeing drug shipments. From there, Carrillo shot up the ladder. He consolidated his power in 1993 by assassinating his friend and former boss, Rafael Aguilar Guajardo. With Aguilar dead, Carrillo took over his Juarez cartel. He soon earned the nickname Lord of the Skies because he chartered planes to smuggle cocaine from Colombia to the US-Mexico border. For the most part, however, Carrillo was careful to stay out of the limelight, even as his power and fortune grew. After his death, the Washington Post called Carrillo one of Mexico's most mysterious men. He lived discreetly, no wild shootouts, no late-night disco hopping, the paper wrote. Few pictures of him appeared in newspapers or on television. He was from a new breed, the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration liked to say, a low-profile kingpin who behaved like a businessman. Amado Carrillo Fuentes seems to have viewed drug trafficking as exactly that, a business. To a priest who encouraged him to leave his life of crime, Carrillo demurred. I can't retire, he told the priest. I have to keep going. I have to support thousands of families. Behind the scenes, though, Carrillo was very much a drug lord. He amassed a net worth of $25 billion, a fortune second only to Pablo Escobar's, ordered some 400 murders, and enjoyed torturing his victims. Carrillo also held influence over Mexican government officials, whom he paid to turn a blind eye to his activities and take out his rivals. By targeting his competition, they could claim to be anti-drug while leaving the Lord of the Skies alone. Even Mexico's top anti-drug official was in Carrillo's pocket. Regardless, his activity drew attention from law enforcement. In 1997, he barely evaded capture when Mexican agents raided his sister's wedding. The Lord of the Skies had grown, in the words of a senior U.S. drug official, too big, too notorious. Well aware of his own notoriety, Amado Carrillo Fuentes decided to take a drastic step. As he mused about moving his operation to Chile, Carrillo resolved to undergo severe plastic surgery to change his appearance. 